Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will see how we can create a Power Pages website. In my previous video, I have told you about the Power Pages introduction. And in today's video, we will be going to talk about how we can create a new Power Pages website. I have created a blog related to the Power Pages overview, which I have explained in my previous session. And in I have also created one more blog, which is related to the uh, site creation. So today we are going to talk in practical. So let me go to make.powerpages.microsoft.com. I do have my trial instance available. So I, I have logged in into that. And if you don't know how to create a trial instance, you can check my previous video where I have, uh, in, where I have given the uh, video, the explanation about how you can create a trial instance. So if you see, I, am, I have created two environments, dev and test. In the dev environment, I do have a website already available. So this is, you know, a kind of website that I have created just for my personal purpose. I was just trying to create one functionality or doing some POC around the import order. So how you can create multiple orders using an Excel uh, sheet. So that's what I did. I did enable multiple languages here. So if you want to know how I have enabled the multiple languages uh, in the Power Pages portal, just put a comment in the description. I will try to create a video on that. So if you see it is working. Uh, so uh, that's the thing. But today let's create a new website. So let me go to the test environment because it doesn't have any of the website. Normally we don't follow like in dev we create new, in test environment we create new. My purpose was something else to create this environment, but to just, uh, you know, uh, present or to create this video, I do have this environment empty, so I thought to do so. So whenever you log in into this environment, sorry, log in into this website, make.powerpages.microsoft.com, you can always go to your environment in which you want to create your Power Pages website. Okay, so these are the options that you will see. So... Uh, currently, I don't have any sites, so that's why it is not showing. But once I create a website, it will start showing up in this active site. Also, you know, this templates section talks about the number of templates available provided by Microsoft directly, which can be utilized to create, you know, new Power Pages website. So, uh, before we used to have, you know, very less type of templates, like if you remember Dynamics 365 templates, like custom portal, customer facing portal, like those kind of portals. So if I go here, as of now, okay, let me pause here. We'll do it, do it step by step. But before we used to have, you know, many templates, like here you see there are so many templates available or you can always do a scratch develop. So with the help of these templates, you can check out all the templates available. Now let me go ahead and create a new site. So there are always two options, start with a template, start from blank. If you are a pure developer and you know you have many more customizations that has to be developed in your website, you can always go ahead with blank. But I would suggest we can also start with a template because we get a very good background because all kind of customizations are available very easily with the help of Power Pages Studio, which we'll see later, where you can directly go ahead and change the coloring of the whole portal together. So I would recommend to, you know, start with this. We have third option since we all know there is a co-pilot now available. So that's the great thing that we have. You can always type about, you know, about your app, what kind of application you want to build. So whatever you type and, you know, put it, it will try to suggest you, it will try to create a website with, for you. So in today's session, I will use start with a template. But you can always go ahead and try and start keeping something here. So let let me give you an example that uh, I want to create a website for e-commerce. And then I will give enter. So it will try to analyze and, you know, try to create a website for us. So by asking us some basic details. So right now, if you see, it will it is asking us for the site name. We can give a site name. We can give a web address. And then I'm not changing it as of now, but I'm just trying to show you an option, like how you can create a website using Copilot. So let's say let's keep the same name 
and let's keep the same website if i go so you know so, so, so it is trying to create a layout for you so see it is saying choose the layout if you like this you can go next if you don't like it you can go try again so it will try to create you know some other type of things so let's say here also i have given the description like this right the more better prompt you give the more efficient type of website it is going to create for you so uh, if i hit try again so it will try to you know check the type check the description that you have given and try to create a website for you so see it has changed so the layout has been changed so these kind of things you can you know try so if you like this layout you can go ahead and click on next so if you want to add many more pages so let's say it is about e-commerce e right so if you want to add cart page if you page about us then you can add it it will it will you know ask you so if you create that so that's it so it will try to create a website for you so just by typing and giving you know uh, simple words it has created a website for you easily so it will take some time to set up your new website and then once it is ready you will be able to directly use that website so today we discussed how to create a website using copilot option and how copilot is making things easy for us to create a website so see we were talking and it got created so let's just wait for some more seconds yeah see it has created if you remember we have selected some pages so it has added those pages as well and you know we have the home section which we have already chosen right that we want our website to look like this so it's already available if you are wondering what is this so this is like the power pages studio that i told you right that we are going to talk about that so it's the same thing you do all kind of styling things if you want to make the things quick and if you want to test something you can always come here and do the things but i would suggest it's better and i may i feel it more feasible to do it via power pages management uh, model driven app because it is very easy and we are developers right so it, it is always easy to use that so i personally use that and it is also to sync the changes between you know the power pages management model driven app to the power pages website so if i close this as of now so this is the studio here you will see main navigation here you will see other pages uh, that will be there in your navigation today we will not talk about the power pages studio i will do it in the next section but as of now uh, just think that you know we have created a website using a copilot option so let me just show you how it looks and then we'll go back and we try another option of trying to create a power pages website using the uh, template option so it will take some time in the start but then it will be very quick so yeah it's loaded so this is you know our website looks like so this is exactly the same that we have chose you know while creating the website and what i did is just if you go back to the home so see in the active site this is the site that has been created so this is the name that we have selected of course as of now it is private but as soon as we go ahead we do the you know portal creation we can publish it so that it will be visible to the world with the help of this preview option you can select to you know choose it uh, sorry you select to view it so with the help of preview option you can always go ahead and check your website so this was the option that tells you how you can create a site using copilot and in my next video i will show you that how to create a website using template option so thank you for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and i will come back with a new video telling about the power pages website creation using template thank you